Well, this has got to be typical. This is one of those occasions. Got it all nicely set in there, all ready. And we've got a faulty wire. Looks like that's got pulled either while I've been putting it together just now or yesterday when it was falling over. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. It's this black wire. It's obviously not making good contact with the brushes. So, we'll do something I hate having to try and do, which is use the little tags off, see if we can get the back out and see if there's anything we can do about repairing that wire. We'll see if we can repair this little cordless motor. I've got a map pin. I'm just trying to ease out the little tags that hold the plastic back plate in place. I'll just take that battery off so it's not so unbalanced. I will say the chances of repairing one of these is slim at best. So it's just beginning to ease up there. This black wire I think is actually broken in the insulation and we need to try and strip it back and push it back through so it makes solder contact there. I expect if I just pull that it's only being held by the plastic insulation and the wire inside is actually broken. See it stretching. What's the chances of getting that out of there and resoldering it? Well, that's what we've got to try and do. tweezers here that are a bit mucky. Don't want to damage that brush at all. Let's just tip it out there. Right, that's the brush. So I've got to try and re-solder onto that. Right, before we can re-solder onto that, we've got to clean out the hole there so we can push the wire back through. Uh, I don't know which way round it's going to come out. You probably can't see what I'm doing. Sorry about that. glue them in place, I don't know. I need to try and get it through. I'm 
going to work on that off camera. I've ended up putting that pin in my drill. trying to do. Well I've managed to get the wire back through and I've got to strip the insulation off and solder it back onto there. I just gripped it with my tweezers there and gripped it lightly with my finger and this knife blade to get the insulation off the end. So I'll put some solder on that and try and get it on there. No idea if I'm going to be able to film this. Got the camera right up close to it so you can see what I'm doing, but that makes it difficult for me. on there. Can I get the brush back in place and then the cover back on the back of the cordless motor? Just to make it that extra little bit difficult it seems it's held in place with a bit of sort of hot gluey type stuff. So I'm having to heat it Try and get it back in there. Because you all being able to see it in close up mode, you can probably see it better than me. But yeah, there's something filling the gap. to try and get it back in. Probably end up undoing all the good work I've done, trying to force it in there. Right, I'm going to stop filming so I can see what I'm doing. Well, you can probably guess what happened. <laughs> Got it back together and the white wires come off. So I've got to do it all again now with the white wire. I'm trying a different approach this time. It's probably too late, but this time I've just drilled through the existing hole. I've left the uh, existing brush exactly where it is. And I'm gonna see if I can get a drop of solder on there now because I've really messed up that other brush trying to get it in and out I've just about got it right again and then the white wire popped off can't do this and let you see what I'm doing I 
honestly did not expect to do that. I don't think it's quite right in there, but that might be enough for us just to do this. Oh, that feels very hot. Yeah, I don't think it's quite right. <laughs> need to do is try and push those little pegs back over. But I don't know if I want to. Gosh, that is getting hot. So I think there must be a brush because they were three pronged brushes. I think one of the little leaves is out of alignment and making contact somewhere else, which is why it's getting very hot. Well, we'll carry on as we are. Uh, I'm actually going to put this in as an extract for a separate video, but what I'm building at the moment is a reversing cable car. So if you're watching the extract, there'll be a link in the video description to the cable car that this video came from. And if you're watching the original, then yeah, looks like we got it back together. And I think um, my method of just drilling into the existing hole, stripping the wire off, pushing it through and re-soldering it was far better than trying to get the old brush out and soldering onto the brush separately because I've really messed up the brushes in there by doing that. So if I have to work on another one, I'll try that method instead. Drill the hole out in the wire, push it through and re-solder it, if there's enough space. Well, it's not all good news. I've just realised I obviously have that rotated slightly, because this is running in reverse to the way that it was. So I've obviously rotated the cap on the back there by at least 90 degrees, if not uh, 180 degrees so the commutator is making contact with the brushes at the wrong rotational angle I think well I just popped the back off turned it 90 degrees and now it's going the right way so when you take it apart make a note of exactly where the back plate is in relation to the bodywork. Just using my cutters because they're the pointiest things I've got to try and push those tags back in. To hold the back plate in place. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.